Let's take our next question that is question number 22. Now the question you see belongs to chapter of work power and energy. As per the question a force which is variable that is equals to 20 plus 10 y acts on a particle in y direction where f is in newton and y is in meters. Work done by this force to move the particle from 0 to 1 meter is. So it's a formula based question and when you have variable force in that case work done would be integral of f dot dy that is the dot product of force and displacement since they both are in same direction so cos 0. So when you put down the values you will get work done is equals to integral of 20 plus 10 y into dy and the variation should be 0 to 1 right. When you solve this you will get integral of 20 dy 0 to 1 plus integration of 10 y dy 0 to 1. Solving this you will get equals to 20y plus 5y square. This variation is 0 to 1. This variation should also be 0 to 1. Solving this you will get 25 joules. So let's see which is the best suited option here. Among the four options given, yes, option number 3 is the right answer. Now let's move on to the next question. Now the question you see belongs to chapter current electricity. As per the question, which of the following acts as a circuit protect device and among the four, fuse is the one which acts as a protector. So option number four would be the right answer here. Now let's move on to the next question that is question number 24. Now the question you see belongs to chapter current electricity. Here in the circuits shown below, the readings of volt meters and ammeters will be. So here is I1 which is the current flowing through it and potential measured is V1 here in this circuit 1. In the second case, this is the V2 which is potential measured here and I2 is the current flowing through it. Now in this case, the very first case, here if you see the net resistance of the circuit would be 10 ohm. So current I1 will be equal to 1 ampere that is 10 volt supply divided by 10. Now when you come here, in this ideal situation, you are well aware that for voltmeter, the resistance should be infinite and that means here, there will not be any current. Now in again this case, the net resistance of this circuit is 10 ohm only. So current I2 will be equal to 1 ampere again. So I1 and I2 both will be equal. Similarly, V1 and V2 will also be 10 volts. So let's see which is the best suited option here. Among the four options given, yes, option number three is the right answer to this question. Now let's move on to our next question. That is question number 25. 